Hey, it's Vaughn, and welcome back to Dark Souls, ladies and gentlemen. We are currently in the deep, dark depths of the New Londo Ruins. Has it always been the New Londo Ruins? Was it the New Londo Ruins when we entered, or was it just New Londo? I don't really know. Um, this could be the ruins, though, because we're actually moving through decrepit buildings. However, we've already done that before, so I don't really know if this entire location is known as the New Londo Ruins or just this specific area. Nevertheless, it doesn't really matter. In the last episode, we made our way to right here. Um, and we killed a Dark Wraith, and so now we're gonna move forward a little bit and collect all of the items that we can. Like I said, I don't think we're too far away from the ending of this place. So, first and foremost, let's grab that large soul. I think we did miss an item way back when, when, uh, we tussled with, like, our first, maybe, Dark Wraith. I remember we, we were, like, hovering over an item, and then I saw him, and I was like, oh, crap, and then my priority immediately, uh, took to defeating him. So I'm not sure if we missed an item back there, but... Again, I don't think it's anything important. Um, yeah, we have a multitude of souls already in our inventory, so we can use those whenever we head back to a bonfire, but that might be a while. So we have another item over there, but it wouldn't appear that we can get to that from down here. So let's go ahead and move forward up these stairs. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Why is there a Dark Wraith body here? We, I don't remember killing somebody here. Huh, interesting. All right, let's go this way. Uh, there are a lot of secrets in this specific area, and I'll show you one right here. If we were to attack this, there's an illusory wall, and behind it is going to be a dark wraith as well as a chest. So let's back up, let him get close to us. Come on, there you go, buddy, good job. That kicked us so much stamina damage, like I mentioned in the last, maybe the episode before that. Um, but nevertheless, he is dead. Where were we? Where was that chest? There it is. Let's go ahead and see what's inside of this, shall we? There's also some pots, so before we do that, let's break these and find nothing, as usual, but I have to make sure. Inside this chest is going to be one Titanite chunk. I sort of remember this one was kind of a disappointing chest. Okay, items all over the place, and I realize I've... I realize now that I have been hollow for a long, long time. That wasn't my intention. It's not like I don't want to get invaded or anything. Um, I don't know if I've ever been invaded down here, though. Again, I don't know if you can get evade, invaded down here. Cracked Red Eye Orb 6. Okay, so we haven't really used those. I don't know if I've explained them. I believe I have, but that allows us to invade other worlds. Which we haven't really done, so that's kind of disappointing. Should make an effort to do so. Okay, we have another Dark Wraith down here. Hopefully he's smart enough to walk up these stairs. There you go, buddy. Good job. And for your efforts, you get to die. Lucky you. Okay, none of these guys are dropping Titanite slabs, but you don't really expect them to. Um, obviously, your best chances of them dropping those is if you have, I believe, 10 humanity. Like I said, I think 10 humanity is the maximum for item find rate increase, if that makes any sense. Okay, let's see. We can't go down there, so I guess we have two paths left to us. We can go to the left or we can go up these stairs. Let's just hover up these stairs and see if there's anything really quick. Okay, you may be able to see, able to see like some weird, uh, darker section in front of you. Okay, yeah, that's why we just want to wait there, because there's obviously going to be something else, too. Let's go ahead and backstab this guy, or not. Oh! Oh, he got me with that, wow. After saying that, I would never get got with that. Okay, so how much damage is that going to do? Nothing. It also steals our humanity, I believe, but we didn't have any. Oh, and that shield blocked that. Good job. Okay. That thing has such a wide sweep. Okay, die, dude. Oh, my God. Okay, no. Luckily, we were able to roll. All right, this guy is, like, proving to be the leader of the Dark Wraiths or something. He's way harder than all of the other ones. But that's just our current circumstances. Oh, my God. He dropped something. And I think that can only mean that that is a Titanite slab. Titanite chunk. Okay, I guess they can dry up. Uh, I guess they can drop Titanite chunks as well. But I'm pretty sure they can drop Titanite slabs. Yeah. Alright, so, um, we're gonna hold off on going over there for now. I think that's the path to the boss. What we want to do is check over here. We did not go downstairs. And I'm not exactly sure where this area leads, but we want to be very careful and look out for any Dark Wraiths, because we only have four Estus Flasks. And in a perfect world, I would like to defeat the, uh... What's that noise? You guys probably can't hear it, but there's some weird guttural shuffling above me. Okay, so this leads back to the Valley of the Drakes. I guess this is just a shortcut. Yeah, it must be. All right. Oh, well, well, let's just double check because there is a little path that we can go to the right. I'm not seeing anything, so let's go in that giant room. 
Now what's interesting is I said those exploding skull heads were here, but the only one I've seen so far is the one that actually hit us, and I didn't actually see it. So maybe it was an attack from something else? I don't think so. But, uh, yeah, it's interesting that they'd only put one of those guys down here. Alright, so in front of us is going to be this thing again. And there's also a Dark Wraith that actually got aggroed, so let's uh, back up and kill this guy first. We definitely don't want to tussle with both of those guys at the same time. Okay, so yeah. The thing with the Dark Wraith, as you can probably tell, is that they do a big combo of attacks. And if you're blocking all of it, chances are you're probably going to either... Uh, deplete all of your stamina or get hit by one. Okay, there are some exploding heads. I guess this guy spawns them or something. These things are so creepy. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's not a, a lot of enemies in Dark Souls that give me the shivers, but this one takes the cake. Oh, I got hit by that. All right, so we just don't want to get hit by its, uh, I don't know, vomit and giant sight sword that comes out of its mouth. If that wasn't obvious enough, we definitely don't want to get hit by that stuff. But it looks like it's going to die in one more hit. Like I said, I think there are only two of those in the entire game. So I think um, we're done with them. They may respawn, I'm not exactly sure. But nevertheless, I think we are done with them. Alright, so I see a chest back here. Can't really see its chain. No, it is curved. Okay, what is going to be inside of this chest? One Titanite chunk. All these Titanite chunks, I guess... Oh, it makes sense because you just got the uh, very large ember, so now you can use the chunks and the slab to uh, fully upgrade a weapon. Luckily, we do already have a slab from killing the um, stray demon in the northern undead asylum, so we're good for now. So, I mean, so when we go back to a bonfire, we can definitely fully upgrade this uh, demon machete if we have enough titanite chunks. So there's fog door to the left. Before we go ahead and take a look at that, I know for a fact, yep, I remember this guy was back here. The sneaky, sneaky guy. All right. Come on, buddy. Okay, go ahead and do your worst. Yeah, that's not your worst because that really opens you up for a backstab, but I appreciate it. And Titanite Chunk. Yeah, I guess they have a decent amount of chance to drop a Titanite Chunk, but a very small chance to drop a Titanite Slab. Okay, let's see. Let's go back here. I don't think there is anything back here. I sort of remember that. There's all these areas that you can drop down uh, to go back to the Valley of the Drakes. I'm not really sure what the point of that is. It's It sort of acts like a, like a shortcut, but it's not really a shortcut. Be wary of tears. All right, let's go ahead and do this, shall we? I think we've pretty much fully explored the new Londo ruins. Into the fog door we go. There is just a very big spiral staircase leading down. Okay, so let's go ahead and follow that for now. Not seeing any enemies or anything, and down there you can't really see too far other than the spiral staircase. Forget exactly how far this thing goes down. Looks like it goes down quite a bit. Alright. So, not much to talk about. Let's just keep following it. Okay, and here we have a drop-off. Now, even if we were to equip the Skull Lantern, I'm not going to do it. Because you just have to trust me. Uh, we would not be able to see anything below us. So here's the thing about Dark Souls. It's like, if you come here and you don't know what to do, if you haven't looked up a guide or anything, and uh, I, I don't know, you probably, probably would just turn back, or maybe you think you're supposed to drop down there. What we have to do is actually equip the Covenant of Artorias. Oh, I guess that's a hint right there. It says Traverse Abyss, yeah. So if you're paying attention, I guess you can come to this conclusion yourself. We have to equip the Covenant of Artorias, which was given to us when we killed the great gray wolf sif and that is going to allow us to drop all the way down if we didn't have that ring equipped we would die so just a heads up for anyone that is doing this okay so we have to be quick here let's put havel's ring back on and now we need to look oh shit i forgot that you have to wear it the entire time oh man that was the dumbest thing i've done this entire let's play so far i think all right, so that is very unfortunate, and I didn't show the message that showed, but it said that uh, you were taken by the abyss or something like that. But let's look on the bright side. It at least has given us a chance to upgrade this weapon, so I think we can do it ourselves. Uh, let's find the demon great machete. I think all it's going to need at this point is uh, uh, titanite chunks and the titanite slab, but I'm not seeing it, so that's making me sort of concerned. Okay, what we probably have to do is ascend it since it's at the maximum. You have to do it in fives. Five, and then ascend it. Get it to ten, and then ascend it, and then... Yeah, then you can upgrade to fifteen, maybe. Well, I'll be. That's a brilliant ember you've got there. For all my years. 
is in the train. That might be the finest. Yes, or, well, obviously we need to give him uh, that ember first. No, just leave the rest to me. Andre of Astora gets the job done, you shall see. Alright, and I've also used all of the souls in our in our inventory. That has a mass to 21,000. So let's try to uh, upgrade that Demon Great Machete now. It should be there, I think. Although this scares me as well, because I think it should be near the top and I'm not seeing it. Oh, here we go again. There's some hidden thing that I'm not remembering uh, with upgrading weapons. I could have swore. Oh, we probably need to ascend it, like I said. Okay, modify. There we go. Demon Great Machete plus 11. We need one Titanite Chunk. Okay, let's do that. There we go. Now we should be able to normally upgrade it, I believe. Here we go. Okay, we should have enough Titanite Chunks. The only thing is we might not have enough souls, although I think we will. Alright, so Demon Great Machete plus 12, plus 13, plus 14, and we will use the one Titanite Slab that we have to make it plus 15. So now we have an achievement as well, Strongest Weapon, that's for just upgrading fully the normal path. Uh, let's talk to this guy and see if he has anything else to say. Oh yes, and one other thing about the Darkwood Garden. It is said to house the grave of Sir Artorius, the Abyss. Into the forest. None has returned. Okay, anything else? Oh, yeah. Nope. Alright, so what we will do is we will repair all of our stuff. Shouldn't cost that much. Okay, and now we are pretty much good to go. So what I'm going to do now, first of all, uh, let's take a look at this Demon Great Machete see what it does. So it has A scaling and strength and it does 332 damage. I'm not sure if that's including the amount of bonuses we get from having all that strength or not, but nevertheless, we're in pretty good shape here. So what I'm going to do now is return back to uh, where we dropped into the abyss. I'm going to remember that we need to wear the ring the entire time, and I'm also going to try and find a setup that will allow me to at least have a medium roll since we won't have Havel's ring. So I will see you guys there. All right, so it would appear that we have been invaded, um, which is okay. I guess we'll use that Estus Flask, or we'll use an Estus Flask just to restore that little bit of health. Um, not sure where this guy is going to come from. I don't ever remember being invaded uh, down here. Probably just because I was hollow the majority of the time. So, yeah, I guess maybe we'll continue towards our destination. Uh, this place, like I said, is not that difficult, although I think he is over there. I, I, yeah, because I just saw a health bar. So I guess we'll just wait for him over here, and hopefully he doesn't kill me because I've prepared, and I don't really want to um, have to go back. There he is. All right, well, let's do this, I guess. Okay. No, I don't want to go back over there. Where are you going? This is a perfect place to fight. If he continues back there, I think I'm just going to go forward. Yeah, I'm not chasing him. You can go over there, buddy. That's fine with me. Um, I've got better things to do. Okay, he's returned home anyways. That's fine with me. So also, by the way, uh, I mentioned that that item, the strange finger or whatever that we found in the painted world of Ariamis, like, stops people from being able to invade you. I think it's actually the opposite. You have a higher chance of getting invaded. Um, okay, let's pull this. You have a higher chance of getting invaded once you use that item. Okay, this is gonna suck. Kill you, grab this transient curse, even though after we're done with this area, literally, literally will be like, useless. I think there is another use for the transient curse, but I'm not remembering. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and make my way back now. Alrighty, so here we are. I've basically replaced the crest shield with the grass crest shield. Uh, and also I switched out my main armor for, or the eastern armor for the Wanderer Coat. So now we have like a medium roll, and one thing to keep in mind is that when we land, we probably want to grab our souls before we engage the boss. And I think we're good to go. Just double check that we have the Covenant of Artorias on. We do indeed. All right. Here we go. Everybody cross your fingers. I'd really like to kill this boss on the first try. Um, this boss is sort of weird, and I'll probably explain why after we kill it because it's going to be very hectic 
as I'm trying to kill it. Alright, so we've recovered our stuff now. Now we just need to spin the camera around and look for something in the distance. Okay, so here we have the four kings. There it is. You'll notice there is only one king, however. Okay. Oh my god, the perspective is so terrible. Okay. So basically what we need to do here is just tank all of its crap and deal damage to it as fast as possible. You'll notice it's not really dealing any damage to me. If you could go ahead and, and land the hit, dude, because I don't know how in the world that last one missed. There we go. First king is dead. Now we need to do the same thing. We need to look around and find the next king that's going to spawn. Okay, so just there we go. Hello. All right, so you can see because it's complete black, complete darkness, that it's so hard to figure out when you're actually near this guy. Okay. You don't even need to really roll, honestly, because... Um, I think we're good, though. Like, I think we're good. Um, we're dealing so much damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage, though. Okay. There we go. I think there might be one alive already because I'm seeing something. No, maybe not. Alright, so you can see it has a health bar. And it's called the Four Kings. It's a very, uh... Um... It, well, it's a wrong name. It's it's not really the Four Kings. Oh my god, what's going on? Why are none spawning? Are they spawned or something? Okay, there we go. I was wondering what the hell was going on. But yeah, well, we're running towards one of them. And I know I'm not making a lot of sense, by the way. I know that. Um, you can see it. It's just so difficult to know when you're actually near them. Okay, let's go. Come on, another hit. There we go. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, that's fine. Let's kill this thing, though. Come on, one more hit. Oh, my God. Why are you missing, dude? The Demon Great Machete. Why? Why do you disappoint me so? It's fine. We got it. We got it. it it's fine. It's just... <laughs> I would like things to go better. And, yes, I know I'm rambling and not making any sense. But you guys should know that's how it's pretty much going to go every, every time I get to a boss. <sighs> During this LP. All right. One more four king. I, the fourth king, I guess. Yeah, that's a better way to say that. Um, and we don't actually have to... Oh, boy. Oh, no, no, no. Estus Flask now. Okay, thank God. Oh, he did the special attack. It would really, really, really suck to die when we are so close. But if it only does that much, that's fine. Um, we just need to hit it, like, twice. So let's try and do that one more time. Yes! Okay, achievement unlocked. Defeat the four kings, and we've been given the final Lord Soul, as well as four humanities. Makes sense, there are four kings. And 60,000 souls. Oh my god, yeah, okay, so the four kings are not really difficult at all. Actually, they're one of the easier uh, Lord Soul bosses. I'd rather fight the four kings than fight Grave Lord Nido. The only issue is, like I said, look, when you're looking <laughs> at complete darkness and you're trying to, you know, gauge how close you are to hitting the thing you can't really tell because the perspective is all skewed so basically how this fight works now that i can talk without having to worry about killing them on the first try because i really don't want to come back here um so they're called the four kings so you would think okay so there's four that you have to kill right that's not really how it works basically it's a fight against time the longer you wait or the longer it takes you to kill a king the like because they're on set spawn timers so if you take a long time to kill the first one the second one will spawn and then the third and then you'll basically get swamped so the way we did it you can see why it's pretty easy because we had a lot of time in between kings now this on new game plus is completely different it's so difficult and i remember like i don't know how in the world i beat it but it took me so many try like uh, an unbelievable amount of tries um, but the, the name is misleading because, I was trying to say misleading, the name is misleading because um, there's not just four, they'll keep spawning, like if you just keep taking too much time, they'll, they'll be more than four from what I remember. So yeah, on, on just the regular game, they're not really that difficult as long as you have a decent build and we have a max uh, Demon Great Machete, so we're in good shape. Um, but yeah, if you're on New Game Plus, and they're, they're much more difficult, and I think the strategy I used to finally beat them because I found it online was to wear like a full set of Havel's armor and then just tank all their hits they do barely any damage to you and just keep attacking them also they share a, a, a shared health bar so if you take down that health bar like before um, all four spawn I think they die as well I don't know how that would happen because they also have single health bars but you can see like the last one we killed all we needed to do was like hit him twice whereas the other ones it was like four times or five times all right, so we'll end this episode in a second here, but let's just switch back to our normal build. So we'll put that back to the crest shield. 
We'll put this back to the Eastern set. And I guess we'll also try and upgrade any of the stuff that we can upgrade. Yeah, probably the most difficult thing about this fight is having to wear the Covenant of Artorias and switching out one of your rings that you're so accustomed to wearing. Okay, um, actually I just realized we're not going to be able to uh, use that. Alright, well ladies and gentlemen, we have one last thing to do. I don't think we're going to do the DLC in this Let's Play. Because um, we're going to end it right around episode 50. And that would just be so great. And then we'll move on to something different um so yeah in between the next episode i'm gonna go i'm i can't even talk because <laughs> i'm so excited we beat that boss on the first try uh in between the next episode i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade pretty much everything that i possibly can and then uh, we will take on the final area of the game thanks for watching this one ladies and gentlemen and i will see you guys there bye bye Thank you.